So guys, Songo, it's been a while. I know, just been a little bit lazy. Haven't really wanted to make a video. I have, but yeah, like I said, a bit lazy. So why is Contagious so open? Get down. Well, yeah, it's, this tutorial will be on how I do like animation, frame by frame, tweening, shit like that. So yeah, let's get started. Basically, when you're making animations, most people would do frame by frame. Well. That's what I like to do, at least. I thought I still suck and I can't draw for shit. So, um, this is. I know we're probably gonna see Windows, the Windows thing pop up. Just disregard that. But yeah, this is how for animations basically done. When animations, like, be, when you're making your animations, F4, F5, and F, F6, and F7 basically become your best friends. Because look at this. Press F4, Shazam, you get like your workspace kind of maximized. And all this stuff goes away. And you press F5 adds adds more blank keyframes. F6 adds a copy of the keyframe, and F7 just adds a whole blank one. So basically, for frame by frame, you're going to use F5, F6, F5, F6, and F7. They become your best friends, besties. <laughs> um. So yeah, let's just draw so a ball. Let's just remove these. To move frames, you can either right click on it like this and remove frames or shortcut. Hold down shift and F5. Shazam. Does the same exact thing. So first frame, let's just draw a ball. You guys have probably already seen this in every tutorial you've seen for animations, but the first one I'm doing is frame by frame. So let's just right frame by frame at the top. Or no. Go back to that. Sorry if I have bad handwriting. Frame by frame. It's just a racist. But yeah, anything you see that's not in the white workspace, then it's not gonna be rendered. This will slow part of the bar here will get rendered. But the rest of it won't. So now press F F, uh, let's see, F7. Onion skin. Darn it. I'm gonna lose that, but whatever. Hello, Windows. What's up? Adios. Bye bye. Alright, but so yeah. Basically, click onion skinning. Change these to how long you wanna see. Back or forward. And. Shut the ball. Coming down a little bit. Oh, God. Looks horrible. So yeah, can ball is kind of gonna sort of ease in, or yeah, yeah, is it ease in or yeah, ease in? So press F seven once more. Kind of, gonna kind of get squashed. Seven once more. Get more spaced out because it's gaining speed. F7 once more, it's gaining more speed. Should probably get a little bit more squashed out. F7. Now it's be a little bit squashed on the floor. It's ugly. A little bit squashed. Eh. Control Z undoes. Or undoes. Yeah, so there's the ball squashed. F7 once more. Now it's gonna sort of go back out. Kinda squashed. So, yeah. It's gonna go up kinda fast. F7 once more. And it's gonna slow down. He's out. These terms are very useful. Old animators use these terms a lot. And now it's gonna be doing the same exact thing. Yeah, whatever. So now if you press enter, you can now see your ball going across the screen, kind of squashing, going back out. Easing in and easing out and squash and stretch. Wait, this wasn't squash. This was stretch actually. So if I said um squash for that. This would wait, this would be squash and this would be stretch. 
So now I'm going to space out these by pressing F5, click on the frame, you want to space out, press F5, 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 you get the gig. Now, basically, right here be, can not remember, right here be your, like one of your in-betweens, or not that your in-between, it's your extreme. Oh, someone just got onto Skype. Yeah, alright. Uh, this is like our extreme right here. And whatever frames are in between of the in extremes, kind of the major parts of the animation, are called in betweens. So this right here be an extreme. I can't really remember. Yeah, so this is an extreme. Then all the rest are in betweens. So you get to the extreme, which is right here. Extreme or breakdown, whatever. I mean, no, no, damn it. <laughs> in betweens or breakdowns. And the middle one, what the fuck, what, what is the middle one called again? Can't remember. Uh, I think it's called. Ugh, oh, my. Just look it up. I just, yeah, just look it up. Or just download the anime. I mean, just not download. What the fuck is wrong with me? It's illegal. Sorry, guys. Just buy it. It's 20 bucks. Um. Yeah, it kind of tells you all these terms. But I believe the middle position is called the breaking position. Or passing. Can't remember. Don't listen to me. I'm totally wrong. But just remember, any frames in between the extremes are called the in-betweens. And now, as you can see, press enter because we spaced out the frames. The animation goes slower and looks kind of better. Depending on how you want it to look. So... You can also name your layers. Double clicking on it. Ball. And that is basically frame by frame. Pretty cool. Haha. -ha. Right. Let's just hide this layer. Okay, new one. Name this tweened ball. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is up? You always want to make sure you're selecting the, f the layer that you want to animate on. Happens, happens a lot, like when you're going on the other f layer and you're animating on it and you're like, ah, oh, I gotta redo all of it again. It kinda sucks. So let's just lock that old layer. Yeah, just lock it. And now, if you see, if you click on it, if you try to do anything, you see this little. Thing kind of crosses it out. Oh my god, Windows. Piss off. So, yeah. Turn on this layer again. F7. Let's create a new layer. Now, let's just draw a ball. Or, no, let's use the oval tool. Let's get a different colors, be creative. Mm, purple, whatever. So, to make a tween, basically you, you want to extend your your timeline or your frames out for how long you want the tween to go on for. So, select the frame that you have your object that you want to tween on. Press F5. Like I said, it becomes your best friend for how long you want the tween to go for. So, since mine, my properties, in my properties, I set my animation and my frame rate at 25 frames per second. So, there's going to be 25 frames per every second. Or 25 drawings every second, whatever. The last frame. And now what you want to do is move your ball. So use the selection tool. I mean, press the, press the selection tool. Or use the shortcut shortcut key V. And move this sucker. You can hold down shift. So not control Z. Hold down shift and it will stay in the same position. Hopefully. Oh, whoops. Kind of moved down a bit. Aw oh, man, see I selected all the frames. So it's so gonna do that to all the frames. Darn it. Let's try this back. Whoa, what happened? Yeah, that that was really fucked up. Alright, so yeah. First frame, the boss gonna be right here. Last frame is gonna be all the way over here. 
Why isn't shift working? I don't know. And why did it select all the frames? <laughs> Flash, you just want to tor torment me. Just drag this. No, 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 no. Select that one frame. No what? <gasps> oh, I forgot. Yep, 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 I forgot. Press F6 for the last frame. And now it should work. Sorry, guys. No mistake. That's why I was selecting the whole thing, because it was one keyframe. And as you can see, because you have onion skin on, you can see the previous frame. So, uh, as you can see, over here, we have the ball right here. And on the last frame, the ball's right here. So now, what you want to do is put right click right click on these empty blank on these keyframes not blank because they have this ball right there on it so right click on it do create motion tween and now look at this you press enter you see the ball move across the screen so what most people do for tweening most likely you will need a symbol to tween so to create a symbol click on click on what you want to create a symbol press F8 and you can turn into a graphic move button or movie clip for animations which most likely want to use is graphic movie clip won't get rendered in this like in your workspace you can only see it in the when you export it you won't see it in your workspace kinda sucks but yeah that's how it works so if you do graphic you can see it in your workspace and you can also see when it's exported but you can add filters to it, so yeah. Movie clips you can add filters. But yeah. You just wanna do to like I said, create a symbol for tweens. And yeah. Now it's also another kind of tweening. This is called shape tweening. So let's name this layer by double clicking on it. Shape. Shape tween. Click on this layer. Let's make a rectangle. Sorry if you hear any my TV on in the background watching a movie. Yes, I do have a life. Alright, so click on the first frame. Extend it to how long you want it to go for. Last frame. F. For this one, probably press F7. So press F7 for this one. And select a new shape. Or just draw a new shape, whatever. You don't have to use these shapes. You can draw out your own shapes for any kind of tweening. Doesn't matter. Change the color of this. Press K paint bucket tool. Shazam. Alright, and now what you do, like before, right click, create shape tween. And now look at this. Enter. Shazam. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Create various effects with these. And it looks really cool. So, see all these layers. See how this looks. That looks really weird. <laughs> but as you can see, frame by frame looks a lot better than just tweening. Everyone does frame by frame. Well, most people do frame by frame. They're really good at animating. It doesn't really matter if you get if you make good quality animations. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Just yeah, it doesn't really matter. I know Oni NG uses a lot of symbols, so yeah, he probably uses a lot of tweeting as well. And look at his results. They look freaking amazing. But yeah, look at this tweeting create pretty cool results with them saves you a lot of time a lot of work as well saves you from that migraine that will accumulate when making animations but yeah got to write tweening at the top of this it's my pen oh there it is if you guys don't know I use a Wacom create well, for this one, you're using a Wacom Capture. But yeah, as you, as you can see, the layer is locked. So let's unlock this by clicking on that. Paint bucket, I mean, paint brush tool. Tween. No. Go back to 
wait, no. Go over here. If you go, if you come down here, you can actually see that you can if you click on this black and white. You'll get the original colors back. So the black for the pencil pen. That's it called pencil tool, and white for the paint bucket or pen brush. You can swap these with clicking this right here and swap colors and shazam. So tween and shape tween. Hide that. Lock that. Unlock this. Shape tween. Yes, I am trying to make it nice and organized or easier for you guys to understand. Try to find the skin. So yeah. Hope this tutorial helped guys. I try my best. I really do. I try to explain everything I know. Fuck off. But yeah, I try to explain everything I know. And hope it helps. Please leave a like and possibly subscribe. <laughs> it really helps, gives me the inspiration and the boost I need to continue. As, uh, as you can see, I haven't made any videos in a while. It's not because I don't have any inspiration. It's a lot of it out there, but just, I don't know, school's kind of taken up a lot of my time. So, yeah, it's kind of hard. Being a teenager, just not easy, but never mind. I'm not going to share any personal information. Don't want to. It's the internet. Those little pervs are out there. But, yeah. Peace out, guys. Zungo is out.